Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, August 31st, 2021, and we have to talk as usual. A few things are in play right now, and understanding the dynamics of this market, and I outline this pretty much every single day, allows you and I to gain a perspective on things, and that's really what this is all about. So a couple of things are going on now. I want to talk about this. Um, and, and, and again, more importantly, what we can do about it. I mean, that's really the issue here uh, that I believe is paramount. Let's start off with the markets. Okay, so uh, yesterday, uh, new record highs yet again for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ uh, and another horrible round of economic news. This is not going to stop. That trend is a lock. It is in place. Our economy is contracting. You all know this. As a percentage of GDP, our debt to GDP ratio, our economy is shrinking at its fastest pace ever, ever, ever. But you're not allowed to know that. As long as that mechanism stays in place, and you all know this, the stock market will continue to rise. So what are we hearing about over the past, well, weeks? Uh, and they were talking about it this morning on Bloomberg and uh, CNBC. Surging inflation. All right, duh. Like, we don't know that's occurring. All right, that that's, I mean, an issue that, uh, I, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. This issue here with surging inflation, okay. Um, you haven't seen anything yet. Nothing, okay. Uh, it is not contained, or what was the word, uh, uh, widespread, according to uh, Powell, okay? Fed Chair Powell, you know, trying everything in his power to, to lie to you, to not a allow you to know the truth that we have, you know, surging inflation, it is widespread, it is not contained, and it, it is going to get much worse by design, because the Fed continues to run their inflation creation machine. And you all know this. I've been outlining this for you for I don't know how long, okay? They're issuing debt through one door, buying it back through another door. Issuing, buying, issuing, buying. That mechanism is massively inflationary, all right? And I'm still waiting for one of us, our, our lovely, you know, representatives to call that creature before a committee and have him explain what's going on here. The fact of the matter is, with regard to surging inflation and why this is so important to the Federal Reserve, it, it also fosters, I want you to focus on this for a moment, okay? When you have an environment like this where we have surging inflation, all right, we have a debt market with suppressed yields, okay? The whole debt market is being artificially rigged to the highest possible order. You know that. Um, you know, if you have an interest earning account, even a high yield account, you're being robbed blind. So what does this mechanism do? Let's think about it. Surging inflation, suppressed rates. So where does cash go in this environment to search for yield? It only can go in one place for the most part, and that is the stock market. So the Federal Reserve is continuing to do everything in its power to foster a stock market bubble only to, again, pull the plug at a time of their choosing. And we know when that's going to happen. We don't know the exact date, but we can watch that 10-year yield. We can watch the dollar and pretty much have a, a, a very accurate gauge as to when we should run for the hills. So in this environment here of suppressed rate, suppressed rates, excuse me, surging inflation, well, you're going to get record high, record high, record high with regard to the stock market. I mean, duh. I think you all know this, but this mechanism, I wanted to outline this for you. Okay. And this issue with inflation surging, we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing at all. We have all of these bills in whatever form they may exist floating around the world. And we know for a fact, you and me, that the Fed has been funneling dollars around the world, okay, to central banks around the world who are buying buying assets with dollars. There's going to be a moment, and it's already starting, where all these extra bills start chasing the same amount of goods, or less, and we get massive inflation here, okay? Um, as a hedge against all this, you, you know, look, let them play their games. 
We're going to play ours. You need to be hoarding precious metals, especially silver. This is my opinion. Look up, look it up for yourself. And cryptocurrencies too. All right. This is how you hedge yourself against it. Um, there's really no other way. Uh, these are anti-debt units. You own them. And that's what makes all the difference. If you are holding a physical piece of silver, for example, okay, it's yours. It's not owed back to uh, an issuing central bank plus interest that they create out of thin air. It's yours. Same thing with cryptocurrencies. It's yours. You understand? These are anti-debt units. Period. The end. That's how you counter that. So we understand the issue of surging inflation. Period. The end. I explained to you how this manifests itself in the stock market. And this is why the Fed is deliberately creating inflation. Okay. To force more cash into risk assets. The, the Fed wants a risk on environment. Risk on meaning cash going into equities. It's going to continue until it doesn't, until we see these dynamics change. The 10-year yield, higher, dollar. Uh, also, we'll see how that reflects. Weaker. Okay. Now, that's that's just the way this is going to play out moving forward. There's just no doubt about it. It's how it's working right now. Um, let's talk a little bit more here with regard to crude oil. Right now, Crude oil is under pressure a little bit today, but it's been, what a rebound off of the low. And I'm telling you, um, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you here. Within a relatively short period of time, and I want you to keep focusing on this, we're going to get a massive surge uh, higher with regard to the price of crude oil. Um, and a lot of this is going to be predicated on how they want to play the Middle East. Again, this is a game. Understand that. Banks, the investment banks, leverage beyond their eyeballs in crude. Uh, they will not allow it to fall. They'll foster some kind of event, false flag, uh, create unrest in the Middle East just to keep crude propped up. The market is dependent on it. Dependent 100% on crude oil. It's the lifeblood of it. You know that. So, I believe, and I was just looking at the charts here. Uh, you know, there's no way to pinpoint this, and anyone trying to pick tops and bottoms is uh, <laughs> in a losing game. But I'm telling you that we're going to get a surge here with regard to crude oil, and uh, I'm going to be watching for that, and so should you. Inflation surging, crude oil, uh, you know, we're already at like $69 a barrel. It has no business being here. You all know that. It's a mechanism that's been going on forever to keep crude propped up. Anyway, before this video gets too long, let's cover the markets. Stock futures right now are uh, slightly lower after record highs yesterday. Okay, whatever. Crude oil under a little bit of pressure. You got cryptocurrencies right now under a little pressure as well. Gold and silver slightly higher. 10-year uh, yield stable, dollar lower. That's the setup this morning. But I want you, and that's all well and good. Okay, look, fine. But what I want you to do with this particular video is focus on these dynamics I just told you about. Surging inflation, suppressed rates, drives cash into the stock market. This is why the Fed is doing this, okay? Period, the end. We all know that. It's a, it's a no-brainer, okay? And the environment of risk will continue. You will buy all the dips in this stock market as long as that 10-year yield stays stable and the dollar stays where it is. And we're going to, that's again, follow these and understand when we got to stop buying the dips. And right now, you buy the dips in everything. You buy the dips in crude, you buy the dips in cryptos, you buy the dips in metals, you buy the dips in the stock market. Period. That's how I play it. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I've been doing for like years. Hello? And it's, it's going to continue to work. Uh, I think you all realize that. Until those dynamics change, we are not going to change our strategy. Betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, realizing what's happening and understanding more clearly that none of this, none of this is by accident. Everything we're seeing is deliberate. Um, and it's out of control. It's literally out of control. It's a wealth transfer effect, an elimination of a, an entire class of people, a global takeover by central banks um, and, and, and their respective supporting bodies, which are the investment banks, the Wall Street banks. They run the entire show. We have no representation anymore. There's no real government. The banks are the government, okay? 
And uh, all right, look, I, I could keep going on, but the video is getting long. I don't like these morning videos too long. I will see all of you at the end of the day. Please ponder these things that I've spoken about. It's very important. And um, watch for what I said. S continuing surging inflation, and we're gonna get we're gonna get a surge in crude oil that I think is gonna take people by surprise. A lot of people. Anyway, with that said, I'm out of here. Please share the video. See you later.